Hey, what is up guys? The big DLC for Final Fantasy 16 is just two days away and with the DLC, we are going to get a massive update that will not only add in new content, but also greatly overhaul many of the icons and the abilities that were very much requested by the fans including myself. Square Enix were really nice in giving us the patch notes to us early. There are so many changes coming to many of the icons and a lot of quality of life improvements that will make your experience even better. We will go over mostly all of the big combat changes that are coming in this update. There is more things coming and if you are wanting to see the full patch notes, I will leave a link to them in the description. So let's get right into it. Getting into the notes, we see that the biggest change coming to the icon is Ramu. His icon feat, which is the blind justice, was the most underwhelming compared to most of the others in the cast. His projectiles didn't do a lot of damage at all and even during mobbing they were pretty weak compared to many of the other tools that you could use. Clive also gets completely locked in the animation if he uses blind justice. Even though it slows down time a fair amount, enemies can still attack you very easily while you're charging up your orbs. Well that is all about to change. In the notes they mentioned that blind justice will now fire two instances of the lightning ball. That probably means that now with one level you can launch two projectiles and going all the way to level 9 you'll be able to get up to 18 balls of lightning on the enemy at once which would make the damage of all the orbs significantly higher. The more orbs you have on enemies, the stronger the damage will be when the lightning orb discharges. And now the orbs can be manually detonated by pressing the icon feed button again rather than attacking. So now you won't have to go in and attack after hitting them with the orbs. But I'm not completely certain as to how this would work, as there are two ways to detonate them right now, ranged or melee attacks. When you blow up the orbs with a ranged attack, they will do less damage while melee attacks detonate the orbs for higher damage numbers. So I'm not sure how the damage will be dealt when you trigger the orbs manually with your icon button again. Maybe they've removed the attacking effects from the orbs completely and just made the manual detonation its only attack. We'll just have to wait and see. Clive can now move faster and also dodge while using blind justice. This should just allow you to spam the ability more often as you don't need to worry about getting hit by the enemies as you will not be locked into the animation like you were once before. Another big change coming to the icon is to Bahamut. I wouldn't say Bahamut was weak at all. Bahamut has actually been my main since I got him and love every bit of the icon and all of his abilities. But the changes coming to Bahamut were all needed and will make him a lot more viable than what he was before. Firstly, the Mega Flare Meter which is Bahamut's icon feat will not only deplete to the next level gauge if he happened to take a hit or cancel out of the move. Right now, if you say at level 2 or 3 and you take a hit or cancel out of that move, the gauge will completely deplete all the way to zero until you start charging up the Mega Flare again. After this update, if you had 3 levels of the Mega Flare and you cancel out of it, you will at least stay at level 2 and won't have to charge it all the way up again. I'm guessing we can now also store our level 4 charge. That means you can now easily launch that massive level 4 Mega Flare when you get the stagger. That would be huge as it would make Bahamut one of the best to have in your setup as the damage of the Mega Flare is actually very good. If you ever get it in while the enemy is staggered and now since you can store up the charge, it will boost the damage during the boss's stagger tremendously. Another change coming to Bahamut is the Wings of Light dodge. You can now dodge an attack while you initiate your Wings of Light. And also dodging an attack while initiating the Wings of Light will also trigger a Mega Flare dodge. Now this is cool, this is definitely something along the lines of what Shiva has with her cold snap. Where you can precisely time a dodge with the cold snap and it will trigger the permafrost. Bahamut looks to be getting something similar to this. Where the Mega Flare dodge will either charge your Mega Flare meter faster or it will have Clive launch a few Mega Flare lasers before getting into the rings of light. Nonetheless, it's a great change and I can't wait to try them out. A few other changes made to the icons is to Odin and his period animation while using that Odin sword. So it looks like we are getting a new period attack for Odin which is neat. But periods in general are very really hard to perform as dodging is just a lot easier. But for all those crazy good players who can parry perfectly, this could be a thing that you may want to check out. Now we have a lot of changes made to many of the abilities from the icons. Firstly, Limit Break now lifts enemies instead of knocking them back. This is good if you're wanting to go for some fancy air combos, but other than that, it won't have much use on bosses. Looking at some skills from Garuda Icon, Gauge will be getting a damage boost and wool damage increase as well. Plus, the cooldowns will also be reduced so you can use it more often. 
Aerial Blast, which is her massive tornado, will now dispel certain magic attacks and has its wall damage increased. So now, some of those weaker projectiles will just get eaten up by the storm, which is good but it's still really hard to see the enemy's movement during the tornado. I wish they would rather have added a light outline over the enemies while they're inside the tornado so we can see what they're doing more easily. Looking at the Titan, wind up area effect has been increased. Then the big one being Earth and Fury, which is his ultimate, is getting a cooldown reduction. As of right now, this ability has the longest cooldown in the entire game for some really odd reason. The damage is great against larger targets, but against the small enemies, you won't get much use out of the skill, being at a whopping 135 second cooldown, so almost 2.5 minutes, which is just crazy. There is never a reason to take this into fights. You can literally cast 2 Giga Flares and still won't get the cooldown back from the Earth and Fury, so I hope they make it on par with some of the other ultimates. It is a really flashy move and I would love to use it more often. A quick look at some of the smaller buffs that it gave to some of the icons, and looking at Bahamut, his Flare Blitz got a damage increase and can now lift enemies if you cancel out of the move. The Flare Blitz will now also dispel some ranged magic attacks, similar to what the Aerial Blast will do. Satellite damage and wall damage are getting a buff and also reducing the cooldowns further. As for Shiva, Ice Age damage and wall damage will get boosted and Rhyme wall damage is increased. Also Rhyme will draw enemies in more easily into its Ice Crystals. For Odin, gun rear wall damage increased and cooldown is reduced. And also Heaven's Cloud gets the same with the wall damage increase and reduced cooldown. The Heaven's Cloud can now change its follow up attacks on a single target if you have an enemy locked on, rather than hitting random enemies with each hit. And that is basically it. Ifrit and Phoenix get absolutely no changes or buffs whatsoever. So if you were a Phoenix player, I'm sorry and you are getting absolutely no changes made to any of your skills at all. I would have at least liked them to reduce the cooldown or given the Flames of Rebirth a damage increase but we are getting nothing for that. Which is a real shame as that's the icon that Clive gets first. Some of the other notable changes that are coming are made to the accessories. These changes are made for the cooldown versions of these skills. The Gouge, Earth and Fury, Ganyir and Heaven's Cloud. And that is all the combat changes that will be coming with this update. A lot of other things will be included like custom controller configuration, some quest adjustments, some added cutscenes and the big one being skill sets, which we can easily switch up between different ones on the fly. And the big one made adjustments to when Toggle can be pitted and lower the time between repitting. Clearly the most game changing issue is now fixed and we can pit our good boy as much as we want now. I hope you all are looking forward to the update and many of the changes coming. What are you excited for the most? Let me know. I will catch you all next time.